All right, so this is why you don't always want to believe everything the customer says. Anyways, so this engine, I posted a video about it earlier. This is the one with the wrist pin that went through the side of the block. Let's see if I can find it. So here's the wrist pin. I was able to dig that out. And it was wedged right through this oil filter. Obviously, this is supposed to sit right something like, <laughs> can't even get it back on now. Anyways, this is a corner of the block. You can see it's busted right out. There we go, had it backwards. Anyways, so that's supposed to sit right there like that. You can see the nice gaping hole in the side of it. And yeah, so here's the pan. They said that it just stopped driving. Um, I don't think you break a connecting rod, bend it, and flatten the top of it. If it just, even if it just locked up at idle or, or something like that, just driving. This comes from like whacking around really, really, really fast a few times. I mean, just bits of everything in the bottom of that pan. So, anyways, I did get the true story. His son finally came forward and told us what happened, and he got in a rev battle with another car and was just revving the crap out of it off the limiter over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so don't always believe what your kids say, <laughs> I guess. But you can see this engine, um, it has 105,000 miles on it, and it is nice inside. Like, I've done the oil change on this car several times. I mean, the guy who owned this took care of it very, very well. This engine is fairly nice. The crappy part is this engine has like 15,000 less miles and you can see the oil is just not changed like it's supposed to be. It's all tarnished, everything. This engine does run. Um, it runs, there's nothing really wrong with this engine other than maybe the maintenance wasn't done properly but you can see it's a lot darker and tarnished than that engine that engine was pristine inside until his son got a hold of it and thought he was being cool not even that good of a car it's just a little scion xb but whatever guess his son wanted to be cool for a minute um but the reason i'm doing this is because this engine came out of a TC. I put the two covers on the front. They're close, but you can see the front engine mount right here. On the TC has this little bar, and the XB does not. XB has its own little mount. So yeah, it's a good time to go in there and at least check the timing, make sure everything's still straight. That's all good. But yeah, kind of sucks. Crappy deal. But gotta do what you gotta do.